Howdy ho, Piper. I'm going to tell you what. As my daddy used to say when I was a boy coming up, it's colder than a witch's tit here. <laughs> and we had some snow flurries here, which we hadn't had any this year. We don't, we don't get a lot of snows anymore here. <coughs> but it had some snow flurries, and you would have thought, man, they started canceling schools for tomorrow. <laughs> Didn't hear, but some of the surrounding parishes did. But it is cold, and uh, but we're going to start climbing. I think this uh, weekend temperature is supposed to ease back on up a little bit. Hope everybody's doing good. Tonight I am uh, smoking some uh, a Boswell's blend that was gifted to me by Toymaker Larry, and tonight it is Berry Cobbler. I'm going to tell you one thing about their blends. You could sit and just smell the bag for hours. They just smell awesome. And I'm smoking it in uh, a little Savinelli 320 that Santa Claus brought me. So <laughs> let's get her fired up. Got down with some more fluid in that lighter, and I gotta get some more butane. Oh, uh, for a little Calibri that PA Piper sent me. Get that char light going on this little little bowl full. Actually, it's pretty nearly to the top. So it is. I tell you, I'm sold on these bottles. They've got MA's beat. And I am certainly going to start ordering some, some from them, and I and I I like that morning view. I'm not trying to repeat myself, but the one from Strauss, it's there is nothing like, you know, I buy tens just like we all do, but there is nothing nothing can beat some uh, brick and mortar house blend and book. They just they I have yet to see a tinned tobacco. That, that compares and I've tried a bunch of them and they are some awesome ones out there but it's hard to beat a B&M book I'm going to I just realized I didn't eat any supper I don't usually eat lunch till about one thirty or two, and right before I go pick Emily up from school. And uh, my Mister, I didn't eat no supper. I don't know what Phyllis, my wife, and Emily ate. Oh yes, yeah, she brought home vegetable beef soup from the and chili from the restaurant that we she made today, and. Uh, and I think I was supposed to have chili, but I may just do them this late. I may just do a block sandwich and say the heck with it. I'm just craving a bologna sandwich, with, even without cheese, just mustard. All right, I'm in a mustard mood. I usually eat it with mayonnaise, especially if it's the good brine bologna. But this is not brine. This is some whatever they carry. I'm not much on Oscar Mayer, and I like the, I don't like the all beef, that's what my parents eat, and I, I like the one that's bad for you, that's, of course none of it's good for you, but I like the one that's, <laughs> the cheaper the better sometimes, but prying is the best, that they all meet, in my opinion. I'm gonna, yeah, I think I'd like to say I'm going to fix my bologna sandwich and a handful of potato chips and uh, watch a few videos that folks posted today. I'm going to pile up in the bed and watch a few videos and go to sleep. <coughs> uh, in the morning, and don't hold me to it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try them. Now, I'm not going to film inside the restaurant because... Well, I may. It just depends on who's there. When I get there tomorrow, the and there's a couple of employees or three there that, I mean, I wouldn't want to invade their privacy on YouTube. And wouldn't want to 
even my wife don't want she's my guy's wife I'm, I'm, she may come around one day but it, right now she's not now Emily will jump right in there there's no problem with her but I was thinking coming home today it's a pretty pretty neat little drive now there's no way I can film all of it because it's 23 miles up there and uh, but I thought I'd film the last three miles or so is coming across the lake in the farmville there a very 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 scenic drive I truly have a pretty drive every morning and uh, of course parts of the little old town I'll take you through the town and on into the restaurant there but part of the uh, um, you know it's just like every other little town it's got some it's got some you know trashy looking places but it's it's an old town dates back to the 18 late 1800s um uh, well, you'll see our courthouse. It's just an eyesore. They built that thing in 1958, tore down a beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I've seen pictures of it, and it, I guess it was just in bad shape. It doesn't work, but it was beautiful. They put up this atrocity. You'll see it tomorrow if I, if I get to do it. But uh, we're not. We're, we don't have a very nice looking courthouse. But now this is this is the parish in which my. Uh, restaurant is in but i live in the next parish over called washita but i'm going to take you all on a little ride through union parish tomorrow but um great great people that i've never ever met people as friendly as they are in union parish louisiana which the parish seat the main little town there's is farmerville and of course it's it's got uh, only has about 3500 people in the entire parish probably has 25 and it's a big parish. I know uh, several of the deputies eat with us, and they'll tell you quick. Sometimes they're on the other end of the parish, and at night there's not but two or three deputies even on. Some nights two. And if one of them's on the other end of the parish and the other's on the other end, it has problems. It's 60 miles from each other. You know, it's a big, it's the second largest parish in Louisiana, miles, mileage wise, you know, land mass wise. And this lake I'm going to show y'all tomorrow, Lake Darbonne. I do a lot of fishing. They're beautiful. Lake. I think it's 28,000 acres. It's about the third or maybe fourth largest. I think the third largest. Maybe. Yes, the third largest. Maybe the fourth in Louisiana. I know Toledo on the Louisiana side is a whopper. And of course you got Lake Pontchartrain. And I may be wrong on that, but it's one of Louisiana's bigger lakes. Beautiful lake. And it's a man-made lake. That lake was built in... 58 or 59 too. <clears throat> but I've looked for some pictures. I told you I would on some of the stations. And they're not in the albums. They're, my wife's got them boxed up somewhere. I ran across some convenience stores. But some of them are in frames and whatnot. I'm going to get them all out. I'm going to work on them maybe this weekend or the next day or two. I'll ask my wife what <clears throat> which box they're in because there's hundreds and hundreds in a box of different things and of course she's she's always been a picture fanatic and of course I have too and there's a dozen albums <laughs> over there. We've taken more pictures of kids coming up than kids certainly shouldn't be camera shy. I guess that's why Emily's not Hey, guy, I was going to tell you, if you're watching, you know, on the uh, Farm Simulator game 2013, I had finally scratched up enough. I'd, I'd managed to accumulate $300,000 on the game. And I'd, I'd bought three or four fields and added some, some of the outdated, cheaper equipment that I could afford to buy and was still planting. Um barley and, and, and mainly canola and occasionally wheat but the canola was paying off is the best payoff and barley does pretty good too and uh, finally scrounged up 300,000 well enough to buy my first corn planter and harvester and uh, the attachments that goes with it and I was broke and I, you know on this on this site where you can download I was telling you about that you could download some different mods the, uh, the first the only safe site i truly safe site i found without getting any spyware or malware on your computer 
well, they had a cheat deal where you could you could download and you could get a million dollars. And I said, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make it. I'm going to stay with it. And I said, the heck with it. I, I just pretended I had a rich old uncle died, and I put that million dollars in my bank account. And I want you to know <clears throat> I bought hay baling equipment. <clears throat> the rest of the corn uh, planting and harvesting equipment. <clears throat> and I'm almost broke again. I've got about $120,000. And when you, when you play this game, it's so realistic, y'all. 120000 don't buy a lot of that high price <clears throat> John Deere stuff and uh, Case IH. I mean, don't, you know, you got some $350,000 harvesters on there. So, yeah, I went ahead and just pretended I had a big inheritance there. So, a long lost uncle. But if you want any of that, just send me a private message and I'll I'll certainly guide you in how to do it. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. This time of year, I, I stay hoarse and just ankles. I talk so much during the day at work. Now I talk myself hoarse, but. Well, we're not going to, our snow's not going to accumulate. Well, it never did. One time, as Emily and I were pulling up in the driveway, it got kind of hard. But the ground has been, for a few days, you know, we got up in the 60s several days in a row. That's like Louisiana weather. If you don't like it, stick around. It'll 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 come around. It'll change. <laughs> Emily was nearly in tears when I picked her up today. and She just said the little boy's been giving her some problems. And what he's, him and another little boy, were, they kept asking her. And, of course, she's gullible. She fell right into it. They would wanted her to say three because she says free. And, yeah, we baby her. She's, you know, seven years old. And, of course, a lot of little kids that age still have little problems. You know, they still say words funny. And, of course, I've always gotten a kick like she calls anchovies and chodies and still does and the chihuahua dog she calls them chihuahuas and i just don't have i mean she's my baby she's the last one and i just don't have the heart to change her you know and i know school is making her grow up and it makes me sad but um i hope these little they and, and of course they told her i kept asking her to say it and they would laugh and she, she um, made them promise and cross their hearts not to laugh of course they did anyway I think it's just just a thing, but if if it keeps on, I'm, I'll look into it because I'm not going to have her. You know, kids can turn on a child <clears throat> on each other so fast, and it can get into a bad situation. So I'm going to pay close attention to it. You know, and before it gets out of hand, and if and if something like and it was always one of my big worries concerns that one of my children would would have that problem in school because it's always one or two that just get unmercifully hounded, you know. And, of course, you know, i got to look at it this way. My children, none of them really had the personalities. Now, Emily's a little shy, and she's some timid, and she's very tender-hearted. But uh, I'm going to monitor that situation closely, and if it gets to be a problem, I won't hesitate to homeschool her. I wanted to homeschool her anyway, and... The rest of the family just really was adamantly against it because she needed being an only child still at home. She did need that interaction. So we were going to try to get her through the first few grades. And then, of course, I don't like what's being taught in these schools, this curriculum. I, I do not like it. You know, I'm not into this socialist scrap and I'm not into this. You know, they, they, they don't they teach more of that mess than they do reading, writing and arithmetic. But I'm going to watch it and see, and because kids can be awfully hard on each other. But I have messed around here and killed another 15 minutes, and I um, had a couple other things I want to talk about, and I want to talk about school bullying more, and I'll maybe talk about that later. Uh, a couple of stories from when I was a kid on a poor little girl, but I, I'll, I'll, I'll include that later, but... Uh, I'm going to finish this bowl of this great berry cobbler. This is some awesome smelling and awesome, really great tasting blend. It's uh, hadn't found a bad one in a bunch yet. So, Boswell's Toy Maker Larry uh, and uh, uh, Dave, y'all sold me on Strauss and Boswell's book. Y'all have a good one, and God bless you.